everyone! Welcome back to Treehouse Learning. I am so happy to see you today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling ready for a read with me? Because today we are reading about Harry and the bucket full of dinosaurs. <sighs> dinosaurs. And this story is written by Ian Wybrow and Adrian Reynolds. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's begin. Nan thought the attic needed a clear out. She let Harry help. Harry found an old box all grey with dust. There they are, Harry and Nan. And they are in the attic. He lifted the lid. <gasps> dinosaurs! Wow, he found dinosaurs in the attic. Harry took the dinosaurs downstairs. He unbent the bent ones. And he fixed all the broken ones. He got up on a chair and washed them in the sink. Nan came to see and say, just what do you think you're up to? Dinosaurs don't like boxes, Harry said. They want to be in the bucket. Harry is cleaning the dinosaurs. Sam, that's Sam, that is Harry's sister. Sam came in from watching TV. She said it was stupid fussing over all so much junk. Dinosaurs aren't junk, Harry said. The next day, Harry went to the library with Mum. He took the dinosaurs in the bucket. Here's Harry taking the dinosaurs in the bucket. He found out all the names in a book. So here's Harry in the library and he told them to the dinosaurs he spoke softly softly to each one he whispered he whispered you are my skeletosaurus and you are my stegosaurus you are my triceratops there he is telling all the dinosaurs their names and there was enough names for all the Apatosauruses and Ankysauruses and Tyrannosauruses. The dinosaur said, Thank you, Harry. They said it very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. Can you say thank you, Harry, quietly? Everyone together, thank you, Harry. Very good. And again, whisper. Thank you, Harry. Good job. Good whispering, everyone. Good whispering. After that, Harry went everywhere with his dinosaurs in the bucket. They went shopping. They went to the garden center. They went to the beach when Harry had a bath. You got it. The dinosaurs had a bath. When Harry went to bed, the dinosaurs went to bed. So Harry did everything with the dinosaurs. Sometimes they got left behind but they never got lost for long because Harry knew all their names and he always called out their names just to make sure they were safe. So there we have Harry with the dinosaurs and his big sister Sam on the sofa eating lots of chocolate. are they? Can you see? Where could they be? There 
That's right, they're on a train. One day, Harry went on a train with Nan. He was so excited, he forgot all about the bucket. Oh no, he was crying. Nan dried his eyes. Never mind, she said. I'll buy you a nice new video. So there we are, the dinosaurs are left on the train. But Nan is telling Harry not to worry. She'll buy him a nice new video. Oh, and Sue just joined us for the story. Harry watched the DVD with Sam. It was nice, but not like the dinosaurs. At bedtime, Harry said to Mum, I like DVDs, but I like my dinosaurs better because you can fix them, you can bath them, you can take them to bed and best of all you can say their names. There they are. He's in bed wishing he had his dinosaurs. Oh what's happened there? Harry was still upset at breakfast next morning. Sam said, Dusty old junk. That was why Sam's book got milk on it. Nan took Harry to his room to settle him down. Harry didn't like that. And he poured his cereal all over poor Sam reading her book. Later, Nan took Harry back to the train station to see the lost property man. There he is. But the man said, dinosaurs? Oh, yes, we have found some dinosaurs. But how do we know they're your dinosaurs? Harry said, I will close my eyes and call their names. Then you will know. There's Harry talking to the lost property man. And Harry closed his eyes. Everyone close your eyes at home, close your eyes. And you too, Sita, close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> and he called the names he called. Come back, my Skeletosaurus. Come back, my Stegosaurus. Come back, my Triceratops. He called, come back to the Apotosauruses and the Ankosauruses and Tyrannosauruses and all the lost old dinosaurs. There he is, closing his eyes, calling out their names. And when he opened his eyes, everyone, open your eyes. They were there. They were there, all of them, standing on the counter next to the bucket. All correct, said the man. These are definitely your dinosaurs. Definitely. And the dinosaurs whispered to Harry. They whispered very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. They said, you are definitely our Harry. Definitely. There we are, all with Harry. Looking very happy indeed. Going home from the station, Harry held the bucket very tight. Nan said to the neighbour, Our Harry likes those old dinosaurs. Can you see there's Nan talking to the neighbour and Harry? Definitely, whispered Harry, and my dinosaurs definitely like me. Endosaurus, excellent. Oh, I love that book. Did you like this book at home? I really, really enjoyed it. Let's have a little think. Let's think about what happened. What did Harry find? What did Harry find at the beginning of the book? Can you remember? Oh, that's right. Harry found 
dinosaurs. He found the dinosaurs in an old box, all grey with dust. And, ooh, where did he find the dinosaurs? Where did he find them? You got it! He found them in the attic. The attic. So we call the attic a place in a house. Some houses have it, some homes. And it's right at the top of the house. It's right at the top. Well done. Ooh, where did Harry lose his dinosaurs? Lose them? Where did he lose them? You got it. He lost the dinosaurs on the train. Well done! But thankfully he found them and who helped him find them? Can you remember the man's name? What was the man's name? He was the lost property man. But thankfully Harry found his dinosaurs. Good job! Today we can add some new words into our word bank. Yay! <laughs> So we can add attic. Everyone say with me, attic. Good job, attic. Lovely. Attic is a room at the bottom of the house or the top of the house. Hmm. You got it, at the top of the house. Yes. And our second word today that we learnt for our word bank it is fix. Good job. Fix. Ooh, fix is when something is broken and you put it back together. You fix it. So if my teapot was broken, maybe I could get some glue and that's it. Fix it back together just like Harry fixed the dinosaurs that were broken. Fix! Everyone say with me, fix! Oh, louder! Well done, and now whisper, fix, fix. Good job! And our third word today, our final word is junk. Good everybody, junk. So, hmm, Sam, Sam, Harry's sister, thought the dinosaurs were junk. She thought they were rubbish. Junk is rubbish or something that people don't want. Hmm, is junk something that people want to keep or they don't want to keep? What do you think? You got it. It's something they don't want to keep. So those are our three new words for our vocab bag today. We have attic. Everyone, attic. And fix. Fix. And junk. Junk. Well done today everyone, that was a lovely read with me. Thank you for reading about Harry and I will see you soon back in the treehouse. And thanks to Sita, our treehouse cat, who is now fast asleep and enjoyed that story very much with us. So we will see you again soon. Goodbye for now.